Hi and welcome back. So this new supplement, and I say new, but it was actually approved by the FDA in 2018, has been attracting a lot of support in the anti-aging or a lot of interest in the anti-aging community uh, because of its ability to improve the function of mitochondria. Now, mitochondrial dysfunction is one of the nine hallmarks of aging, um, something that we all want to try and avoid. Uh, enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this supplement has got to offer. So in this video, I will cover what urolithin A actually is, why we as older individuals really need it, how we can get it from food maybe, the benefits of taking it, the side effects and the dosages, and where we can buy it from. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. So what is urolithin A? How do we produce it? And can everybody produce it naturally? Urolithin A is a naturally derived nutrient which is processed by microflora in our gut microbiome. Microflora are bacteria and microscopic algae. Urolithin A is a postbiotic. I'm sure you've all heard of prebiotics and probiotics. Urolithin A is synthesized after eating certain foods high in polyphenols like berries, nuts and pomegranates. Postbiotics are byproducts from the gut that can act as health promoting compounds. Taking a supplement for this nutrient may be necessary as not everyone nowadays is capable of producing it naturally. Research has revealed that only around 12% of people are proficient in producing urolithin A naturally in their bodies. Unfortunately, our mitochondrial dysfunction declines with age, impairing our body's mitochondria to produce enough energy for our bodies to function as they did so well in our youth. Mitochondrial dysfunction is one of the nine hallmarks of aging, and this causes cellular and molecular damage to the body that can lead to age-related illnesses. Known as an antagonistic hallmark, mitochondrial dysfunction can cause a loss of muscle strength and muscle mass that many people experience from their 40s onwards. This can lead to a serious condition known as sarcopenia that affects 30% of older people and is associated with poor mobility, frailty and fall-related injuries. One way to counter this is through regular physical exercise to maintain bone and muscle strength. For those who are less physically able, urolithin A can be used to boost mitochondrial health without the need for exercise. Available from our diet and more effectively from dietary supplements, urolithin A has been shown to promote mitochondrial health and muscle endurance. It does this by improving mitochondrial activity, specifically by activating the process of mitophagy. Mitophagy is a special type of autophagy that occurs within the mitochondria. It recycles aging and damaged organelles. This makes way for new healthy mitochondria to thrive. The process is thought to be essential to anti-aging and protects against numerous age-related diseases. Let's take a look at some of the other benefits of urolithin A. In studies that looked into anti-cancer properties of urolithin, researchers were able to find out that urolithin A helps in avoiding cancers such as kidney, colon, prostate, breast, bladder and liver cancer. And it does this by blocking the cell cycle and by preventing the growth of the cells that have a role in actually spreading cancer. Let's take a look at some other benefits. Urolithin A helped restore heart mitochondria and prevented cardiac inflammation in patients with cardiovascular disease by preventing the blockage of their blood vessels. It also reduced cell death in a test conducted on rats. It helped in nourishing mitochondria and produced new and healthy cells and resulted in less cell death. Moving on, let's take a look at improvements in muscle strength. Urolithin A helped in muscle reignition and improved declining mitochondrial function in older people. People given doses between 250 and 1000 milligrams showed no side effects and after four weeks of regular dosage showed improved muscle strength and improved cell function. So for those who would like to get urolithin A from their diet, it's present in the following foods. Some fruits such as raspberries, blackberries, pomegranates, strawberries, cloudberries, rosehip and boysenberries. 
In seeds, eulithin A is present in mango seeds and black raspberry seeds. In nuts, it is present in pecans and in walnuts. In beverages, it's present in pomegranate juice, whiskey, cognac and oak aged red wine. These foods are sources of eulithin A, but it is not specifically made from these foods. So consuming these foods will not guarantee the direct formation of eulithin A in your body. The inability of most people to produce urolithin A has given rise to urolithin A supplementation options. Urolithin A as a dietary supplement has achieved GRAS status from the United States FDA and that was in 2018, meaning it is generally recognized as safe for human consumption in the range of 250 milligrams to 1000 milligrams per dose. Urolithin A does not have any documented adverse side effects and provided you choose from a high quality provider. And supplementation of urolithin A at present is not advised for pregnant or for nursing women. So if you are interested in buying urolithin A, where can you get it from? At present of the big three, do not age.org, Renew by Science and Pro Health Longevity, only do not age carry urolithin a there are other companies that sell it and you're obviously more than welcome to investigate other options but please be wary of new companies popping up on amazon and ebay etc uh, if you do choose to buy from do not age.org a one month supply of 500 milligrams a day will cost you 79 dollars if you apply to that the 10 percent my nmn discount code this cost will drop to 71 dollars and 10 cents a one year supply of 500 milligrams a day will cost you 850 dollars Add to that the 10% MyNMN discount code and it will then drop to $765. Greater savings can be availed of if you join the subscription service, but these are just the one-off purchase prices. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, I think urolithin A seems to be a very promising substance. Uh, its ability to address mitochondrial dysfunction, one of the hallmarks of aging, is very interesting and one of the reasons I'm seriously looking into adding this to my uh, daily stack. Uh, I think that anything that decreases naturally with aging, such as NAD or testosterone for men, um, and can be addressed through either supplementation, diet and lifestyle, or even drug, drug prescription, should definitely be looked into. Uh, now remember, this isn't medical advice, this is just me telling you what I found out and telling you what I'm thinking about doing to myself. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you take urolithin A, and if you do, if you've seen any benefits, or, if you haven't taken it, but you're now considering it, having looked at this presentation, again, I would be interested to see your comments below. Well, that's it for today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.